Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I wanted to show you the difference between when you're hydrated and when you're dehydrated and how that can make a massive difference with your body fat reading when using a body fat percentage reading machine. So we're gonna go in there and test it on the machine now. body that causes a water retention and I'm gonna do an infrared sauna to really sweat it all out and yeah get my water levels down and then we're gonna check how much my body fat percentage comes up on that machine after the infrared sauna <laughs> So we stayed in there for around 17 minutes at 59 degrees in the infrared sauna and I feel definitely dehydrated because I'm craving water like crazy and cold water to cool my body down. So yeah, we're gonna go in there and now test myself and see the difference. I reckon about 1% lower. What do you reckon? Post what you think down below. Now it's time to cool down in nine degree water. So in this photo is two of the printouts on the left, it's the body weight after the infrared sauna and then the one on the right is before. And it says that I went from 68.5 kilos to 68 kilos after using the infrared sauna. So a 0.5 kilogram drop in weight. And then with body fat, it said I went from 9.9% .9 to 8.5%, which is complete misinformation. And then the muscle mass, it said that before I did the infrared sauna, I was 58.5 kilos, and then afterwards, 59 kilos. So apparently I gained 0.5 kilos from using the infrared sauna, which is, again is incorrect. And my water content of my body was 38.5 kilos before and apparently 39.6 kilos afterwards which just does not make any sense whatsoever the water content should actually be less afterwards not more and the bone mass stayed exactly the same so that's very definitely accurate because my bone mass would have definitely not changed so as you can see dependent on whether you're dehydrated or not when you check things such as your total muscle mass, body water content, and your weight and other various things, that it is going to massively variate. So one day you could go and use a machine like this and it tells you you're a certain body fat percentage and you may not be that hydrated at all. So you get quite a low body fat reading. Then the next day you're very well hydrated and you look at it and it doesn't make sense to you because you've increased by about 1% body fat. So yeah, you just really need to be aware of this. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, this is not a very accurate machine to be using. And I am aware of a DEXA scan, it's the most accurate method out there, but again, this is flawed. If you use it when you're dehydrated or not, your body fat percentage is gonna be different and your muscle mass and your total bodily water content. So I just wanted to make this video to point this out clearly to people out there so they are aware of this. And if you'd like me to make any other types of videos like this in the future, I can do a DEXA scan and I could do it before when I'm hydrated and then I could dehydrate myself and test afterwards. So if you'd like that video, let me know down below and I'll get that done as soon as possible. So yeah, if you have any questions on anything that relates to this video, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would like to see this comparison of when you're dehydrated and not and you check your body fat percentage and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos to me on a regular basis on subjects such as intermittent fasting where i teach you how to get it to work the best for you so you can do it long term 
and how you can maximize the weight loss benefits from it. Also be sharing many calisthenics workouts and also exercise tips to help you perform calisthenics moves with the best form possible to reduce your risk of injury and just so you can make sure that you're doing it correctly. And many videos as well showing you what I do in a day and what I eat in a day to achieve a very lean shredded body all year round. So if these videos sound good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise you'll not be notified of when new videos are posted. So as always, stay energetic, stay strong, and go and get those gains. Peace.